Hello YouTube modeling community. Welcome to Morris Custom Model Shop. James Morris here saying as always God bless all here. Well, uh, I'm starting on <laughs> the Chevy Truck Month build. Uh, this is the 1st of June, isn't it? Well, it is in my calendar anyway. Uh, Pappy, I'm sorry I didn't get started on this sooner. Life is throwing some serious curveballs my way the last little bit. First one thing or another. Nothing serious, but time consuming, you'll say. Uh, as, you, as you may remember, may not remember, I'm turning the Suburban into a panel truck with one of Jimmy Flintstone's bodies. Uh, the reason we've got them both out here, I've got to cut firewall and fender wells out to go in here. When I bought this, Jimmy warned me, this is very frail right here, very fragile. He said, be sure and get the other parts in there before you cut out the safety stringers that are holding it together. So, I just started on this today. Uh, today's like the 26th, I think. Uh, put the engine together. I've got to paint detail it. I noticed some of, them, some of the guys have had trouble with the seams on these hoods. Uh, this one seems to seal up pretty good. I think just a little light sanding will fix it pretty good once it dries good uh, other than that uh, it's going to be basically stock inside uh, being a panel truck it'll have just the bare floor bare walls uh, just the seat up front uh, this has got a 283 in it uh, <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure I'm not well I'm not 100% sure I'd go ahead and change it but I think the one my dad drove was a six cylinder three speed on the column this is a 283 three speed on the column but I that was 60 years ago and I can't remember that well I only rode it a couple times and it seemed underpowered to me at the time but Daddy wouldn't. Daddy didn't have a heavy foot. He he didn't really try to push one anywhere. So it may have been a 283, and I just didn't know. Uh, it's been so long ago. But he hauled fresh cut meat from New Lebanon, Ohio, into Dayton, a distance about 12, 15 miles, in the back of this panel truck. No air conditioning, no refrigeration, uh, but that was the way you did things back then, and that violate more laws than you could put in the book uh, nowadays, but people did well and survived and lived through that, believe it or not, for you younger people, we did. Uh, so this is going to be my build. I'll be starting on it. Uh, I'm off the rest of the day or off tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. Of course, I may not get this video up until Wednesday, but anyway, I'm off Wednesday, so I'll get some more work done at the end. And just wanted to show you where I stood on it and that I am. It is going to be red, Pappy. Uh, not because you like red, but because that's the color it was. Red with a gray interior and a kind of a reddish brown like vinyl seat cover on these seats uh, it was kind of really plain it was a base box base top type thing just cheapest one they made I don't even think it was a 66 I believe that the one he drove was like about a 64 or something like that because uh, uh, I know it wasn't a 60 because the hoods are so much different, but it was the same style hood, just it had a little bit different grill. Uh, of course, the grill and bumpers, I've got to strip and paint white because that's the way that one was. The wheels were red with white little dogdish hubcaps, which I can strip my hubcaps and do that. Uh, I think it'll, it'll make a good representation of the truck my dad drove. I've just got to make my decal for the side 
I don't even think it had the letters and numbers and stuff on it, but I'm going to put one on there, Kingery Brothers Meat, New Lebanon, Ohio, and take a wild guess at the phone number. I can only remember the first three digits. So, that's what happens when you get old. But there's what I've got so far on that. And uh, thank you all for watching. I'll update you just as quick as I get some more work done where it's worth looking at. Thanks a lot. Have a good evening.